here with Brittany Galgan. And Brittany's kind of a unique uh, individual here for the Stingrays. Um, she started out with the first peppermint, and now seven years later, after a lot of hard work, she is now on orange. How are you, Brittany? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, how long have you been cheering? I've been cheering. This is my ninth year total cheering, but eighth year at Stingrays. Oh, great, great. Do you like the Stingrays, Jim? I do. It's like my second home. Yeah? What's so special about it? Um, just everybody's so welcoming, and we all cheer for each other, and it's just a loving community, and I just enjoy coming here every day. I never dread it. I always look forward to coming, and just working hard and giving it my hardest every time. That's great. Um, give us a little background. I mean, you know, from first peppermint, seven years later, getting on the, on the orange, um, what would it take to climb the, kind of climb the ranks, get, kind of take us through step by step on how you started out, and now you're... You're, you are where you are, you've got the orange shirt on today that you're representing, so uh, <laughs> give us a little background on you. Uh, well, lots of tumbling classes, lots of stretching classes, lots of hard work, lots of corrections, a lot of just working my hardest and I, my parents just constantly taking me back and forth from home to the gym, school to the gym, everywhere and just great coaches just helping me improve myself and just dedication lots and lots of dedication good good give a nice little shout out to your coaches and parents as well huh yes. great great okay Brittany um, what do you like most about your team here at the Stingrays I mean obviously you've been through a couple different ones I mean some different levels and so forth now your current team what, what do you uh, what do you like you got some of your best friends on there and like hanging out or what um well we're all just best friends I and mean, it's like family they're all family to me we all push each other to work hard. We all in the routine. We just yell for each other. We when we c help improve each other, it's not like hey you have to do this. It's hey you got this. Like push hard. You can do it. And we all just politely correct each other and just help each other throughout the routine and help each other as a whole. And behind the scenes, we're all just loving and caring. There's never like any tension between us. We just all just love each other. That's great. Great. How about your greatest cheer accomplishment? I know there's been, there's been a lot. I mean, it's going to be hard to remember one, I'm sure, but uh, give, give us a shot here. Hmm. Well, my greatest cheer accomplishment would be making orange um, because it took me seven years, and I just couldn't wait for the moment. I was really anxious, really sweaty, and then right when I saw my name on that trial list and it said orange, I was like, yes. I just couldn't wait and I was so excited for the first practice to get to the gym to just hug all the coaches and thank them for granting me the greatest wish I could ever have. That's great. So I guess this goes without saying you plan on cheering the next level. I was saying that now you're right now you're an eighth grader. Yes. Okay. And that's four years away. But still, it's it's still in your head, huh? It's next level. It's in my head. Yeah. Yeah. But the big division one college football basketball program Thousands and thousands of fans screaming at you and you flying through the air? Yeah, I can't wait because I know I can go to college football games and just cheer with confidence because in front of a huge crowd because my coaches have just raised me so well that they can just, I can just go out with confidence and have no worries. That is great. Any last words, Brittany? Um, it's great to be a stingray. I love it. It's Molly.